Good afternoon. Today I want to show the installation, configuration, and uh, uh, running of the CrackerBot uh, version 1.0. <clears throat> uh, this is a, a databank safe with an SMG dial. Um, really, really nice safe. And, uh, of course, SMG is uh, one of the most common drop gates that uh, you'll come across. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pull everything out of uh, of the uh, case, and um, I'll walk through exactly what needs to happen in what order. So let's go ahead and first of all let's get our uh, dial couple out, and uh, go ahead and uh, remove move the uh, the adhesive cover, and this is. One of the most critical steps here is we want to get this adhesive cover as close as we can to the center. And um, you know there are, there are some tools that you can get that will help you with this, um, but uh, you know a lot of us may not have those tools. So uh, I just want to kind of show as long as you know, until you push it down, you've got a decent amount of wiggle room and then once you once you push it down there you go see right there it's about how long it takes that's that's pretty close so give that a good push to get it attached firmly and uh so right there so now our dial cuff is attached and the next thing we want to do is go ahead and put on our uh, optical sensor and um so we've got our our attachment right there. Of course, it's magnetic based. And for this one, all right, so we're going to go a little closer here. This is always somewhat of a challenge to get right there. And what you want to do is set up to where the flag, you know, breaches the optical uh, sensor. And right about there, and it's, and it's free to. Uh, to rotate, so that looks pretty good. All right, so what you want to do is have this optical sensor, which is right in the center, it's exactly in the center of this uh, mount, mount housing. Um, so right now I'm just removing the uh, protective adhesive cover, and uh, you can see, you know, this this is bendable. This is a flexible plastic, so you can actually you know, flex it and adjust it because there's a little rim here, a little ridge that you've got to get past. So what you want to do is right about 85 is when you want this sensor to hit the optical. Now, it doesn't have to be exact, um, but you want it right around there. So there we go. And then just rotate the dial a little bit. Make sure it's free. Make sure it doesn't hit anything. Make sure this is good and solid. So there you go. That's that's probably the most difficult right there, is getting that optical sensor and the dial flag attached and uh, and, figure, and and you know this this is fully adjustable. So you know once we get everything on and the the uh, stepper motor, we can adjust this a little bit uh, if we want to fine tune it. So next we've got our motor mount and we just pop that right on. This is obviously is a, a magnetic mount, but you can also put um, mounting tape on it, uh, double-sided mounting tape that will allow you to uh, adjust it. So what we want to do is get it pretty close to centered on this hole. And next. Screws out of the motor and uh, it right in there. And we want to see which of our coupling rods is going to work best. So let's just turn this flag out of the way. There we go. Which one of these mounting rods is going to work best? Looks like. I don't know if 
like it probably would mess. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mount the mounting rod here into the motor. And we'll use our Allen wrench to uh, torque it down. Just enough to hold it. And we'll tighten everything up here a little bit. So there's that. And we want to make sure that it's lined up well. So it's going to come down a little bit.
Yeah. All right. So you've got two options here. You've got a motor and you've got an encoder. So you do have the option if you wanted to use a uh, digital dial magnifier uh, utilizing an encoder, you can do that uh, for manual manipulation, but we're not using that. We're using the motor. Uh, for this, we want to have a new start. If you were to lose power while you were attempting to uh, run this, um, you could hit resume and it would resume where it left off with the, the settings that you had set. So this is a new start. This is a drop gate design. Um, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. So before you start this, you want to make sure this is set to zero. I do it automatically. Uh, I don't even think about it anymore. So this is set to zero. Um, and then you turn it on. So now you do drop gate. If you wanted to have a, uh, a direct action um, safe, uh, you, would, you would dial this down to direct action. Um, and uh, that would, uh, see right there, um, that would utilize the servo to actually actuate the, um, the handle every time. Um, and that's, that's how it opens up. So, uh, we want to use a drop gate. And you can see that the, uh, dial moved, it rotated around, and the optical eye, uh, did uh, detect the flag. So that's good. It's at 86. And the dial's at 86, so that matches. If you wanted to adjust it, you can adjust it up and down a little bit to tweak it. Um, but you really want to have it, you know, as precise as you can. So you hit there, and you can see we're back at zero. Now this is a skip mode. Uh, for S and Gs, you can do, you know, two. You can do two and a half. Um, some you can do up to three. Obviously, the the higher the skip mode, the faster. Uh, it's going to find the combination because uh, there's less permutations. Um, but I tend to just go with 2.0. Uh, if you want to do 2.5, like I said, you could. Um, but I just do 2.0. And you hit that. And then you hit the motor speed. You've got your low, medium, high. Um, low speed is going to be one. You're going to be a safe that, um, you know, uh, really, really um, high quality. Um, precise, um, and you know, you really got a lot of times you'll have a skip number of, of one and a half, or maybe one, and you gotta run every number. You really want to take your time and, and do that because you, you can't, you can't, um, you can't miss that. Um, medium is usually something you can, you can use on general, uh, general safes. Um, high speed you can utilize for safes that are kind of older and well worn, but still have a real nice dial to turn. Um, that way, you know, the, 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 the drive cam grabs the gate uh, very, very quickly. Otherwise, there's a chance you can hop the, hop the, um, the gate grab, and, uh, and then, of course, it won't open. So, like I said, I usually do medium, and once you hit medium, it starts. And you can see right now, it's combination two done, 98 is done. And then this one starts at 100, which is zero, and then it starts back and in, uh, incrementing from there. And you may see a little bit of wiggle here in the in the bar, and, and that's okay. You know, it, it doesn't have to be precise. Um, but you can see as it's dialing 10, 12, 14, 16. 18 and you can see the dial is incrementing more and more and every time it hits that optical sensor it's looking for the gate and it also verifies calibration of the system so a lot of dialers while they're dialing will slowly get out of sync or slowly have problems whether it's uh, integrated encoders that are being missed the pulses or you know problems with mountings you know a lot of them have these lathe clamps that clamp onto the onto the dial, but the dial's a taper to prevent that so they can actually slip a little bit and start to walk. That's why we've got a separate flag that attaches directly to the dial, and it's completely separate from the motor. So even if the motor slips a little bit or starts to, starts to you know, get off, that flag will, will lock it in every single time. So you know that with the, the number you're dialing is the number that, um, you know, it's supposed to be dialing. So other than that, 
you know, it, it pretty much goes. Um, it's fully automated. When it does find the, the combination, it'll actually say open. If it runs through all permutations and doesn't find a combination, it'll it'll fail. And um, you know, you'll get an audio um, an audio indication of uh, either one. So there you have it. Um, quick, easy, simple, um, and uh, reliable. And uh, you know, I can't tell you how many safes I've opened personally, and, and how many other people have used this um, to open safes. And um, just a fantastic little little box, and um, you know, really love it. So appreciate your time. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and um, enjoy. <laughs>